Doctors here in Atlanta are concerned after hearing from people who intend to purposely get COVID-19. Now it's happening here and around the country, and there's been at least one death as a result. Our Y guy explains why physicians are so concerned. It's all new this morning. During a measles outbreak three years ago in New York, parents held parties to expose their children to the virus in hopes they would build natural immunities. Doctors warned that it was a bad idea. Now it's physicians here in Atlanta who are sounding the alarm after hearing from people with plans to intentionally expose themselves to COVID-19. This is a terrible time to be considering a strategy such as this. Here's why doctors are so concerned. Dr. Harry Hyman with Georgia State University has heard from young people who feel the odds of a severe case are low, especially with the Omicron variant. They're willing to take the risk to get natural immunity. Some people go, well, yeah, but most of the people um, ending up in the hospital and dying or older. The emphasis there is the word most, which means that there may be 10 to 20 percent who have no underlying risk factors who get it, end up having a severe case. Dr. Jane Morgan is the clinical director of the COVID task force at Piedmont Healthcare. She says Omicron has presented challenges when it comes to treatment. We now only have one therapy that is effective against Omicron. That has created a supply shortage. Physicians say even with a mild case of COVID, there are risks of long-term problems. Prolonged uh, fatigue and myalgia, long-standing um, lung and heart uh, and kidney and other conditions that, that, that people will likely have to contend with for the rest of their lives. Czech folk singer Hannah Horka died recently at the age of 57. Her family says she intentionally contracted COVID so she could be, quote, done with it.